Today we kick off a multi-part series on bind offs. Uh, while mom didn't leave behind video footage on bind offs like she did cast ons, we have a lot of information about bind offs in our classroom archives, uh, much uh, that she created. There's some for me too. Uh, but today we're gonna start with the basic bind off which I'm assuming if you're watching this and interested in bind offs, you already know how to do the basic bind off. But did you know that there was an alternate version? There is. Uh, first off, if you want, um, this is the basic bind off and what it looks like. Uh, if you want the cast on to match it identically, the chained crochet cast on is the paired cast on for this bind off. But with the alternate version, it's great if you um, ever have difficulty maybe getting consistency and stitch size. There is a version that you work with a crochet hook. And just like um, any other version of the basic bind off, you can control the tightness or looseness of the edge uh, by using a large, usually you want it looser, using a larger knitting needle. Or in the case of this alternate version, you can use a larger crochet hook. So here is how you do the alternate basic bind off. For the alternate version of the basic pullover bind off, you take the hook, insert it into the first stitch knitwise, slip it off the needle, leaving it on the hook, chain one into that loop. You then go into the next stitch knitwise, slip it off onto the hook, yarn over hook, Pull through both. Insert knitwise into the next stitch, take it off the needle, yarn over a hook, pull through both. You just keep doing this all along the row. When you get to the end, just fasten off like normal. 